Guess who's back? Jewel came back from the Mothman prophecies. I'm back, y'all. Apparently, she was in Japan fighting the moth. Yes, and then we made up, and then we went on a little vacay, and then it gave me COVID, so I had to take a little bit of time out. You wait, know, wait, wait, back up. Intimate. It gave you COVID? It gave me, I'm not going to get into it. Like, it details. handed it to you? Like, here you go, yeah. this is a gift? Mm, we got a little intimate, you know, because we was, like, wrestling, and... <laughs> This is so where are you going with it was this? <laughs> I can't give you the details. Well, I was probably private. gonna drop it, it on the mall. On the mall, man, he was over here just sprinkling me with fucking. So just I'm just dust. saying, we got a little close. Mm -hmm. Things went south, then they went west, but then they went north. I'm back. Welcome back. <laughs> I'm back and Welcome I'm, back. I've survived. Good to see you. <laughs> So you're here with obviously Jewel <laughs> and Sensei with popcorn and pork rinds, and we're gonna have a discussion about who can say the N word. Can you say the N word out there, people? If you don't look like us, can you say that shit? Me personally, I don't think anybody should be able to say the N word except black people. That's right. I said niggas can only say the N word, nigga. Who do you consider black people? Just the color of your skin or actual like black Americans? Ooh. Oh, I wasn't prepared for that one. <laughs> <laughs> I was just thinking just like black folks. Okay. But mm -hmm. so a lot of Latinos, mm -hmm. they feel that they could say it. And a lot of darker skinned people, they feel that they have an attachment to the right. N word because they grew up in a certain area, wherever it may be, where it's predominantly right darker skinned people mm -hmm. but then you have the jimmies or the you know kent's carlson and the carlton's <laughs> where it's like all my friends are black i grew up in the hood because we're going to associate the hood with black folks i can say the n-word right. i got the n-word passed so right. do i think they can say that now where i'm at i personally feel that no no, no, yeah. no. You you mm -hmm. gotta be black. I don't even want I don't I feel that even the Latinos shouldn't say it. Why why do y'all wanna say it? Why do y'all wanna be attached to niggas so bad? Well something that came up when you were just talking for me is a question of all right, so what if a black person grew up around a bunch of whiteness? Are they still allowed to say nigga even though it's not indigenous to their soul to say it? So if a black person was adopted by some by some Wahitis. white people. Yes. Why he takes mm -hmm. yes. Yes, because that doesn't remove you from the motherland. That right. doesn't remove you from your ancestors. You're right. still black, no matter who raised you. You're right. black. But if you grew up in the hood and you're not black, you don't get the pass. Mm. You're not invited to the cookout. I don't care. You got to stand outside the fence. So, I'm about to get canceled. <laughs> <laughs> contrary to his opinion, I have thought about this for a hot minute, for years, because I um, had friends in the military who were of black culture you know but yeah. they weren't black um and i didn't notice that they would say nigga because it was just like it seemed like it was okay because it was a part of who they were it wasn't like someone who wasn't cultured in terms of blackness mm. was saying it so it was definitely so, a term of endearment yeah and like singing with songs it came naturally there i mean this person was Colombian, mm -hmm. grew up, I believe, on the East Coast, you know, just kind of kind of like an Eminem in like woman Hispanic form. Yeah. You know, and so I didn't really think about it when she said it because it was kind of natural. I don't know. Like it, it flowed. Mm -hmm. There was no I mean, she like likes black people, you know, yeah. you know she has always been with black men and so now she thinks she's a nigga i don't think that she thinks she is it's just i don't know so i feel like a part of the issue now is the black culture being gentrified and yeah. a lot of younger non-black people just saying it because it's just a regular condition thing that they're saying now. yeah because apparently it's been now removed from nigger from right. slavery to the term of endearment. It's the term of endearment. Yeah. And now it's culture-ish and where it's in the music, it's in right. everything, it's embedded. Gets me. Yeah. It's like <clears throat> like it's it's in the music and the music is made for everyone. So yeah. then it's hard. But you can't say that one part. Right. And there are some people who, you know, sing along to it and they're like, fuck that. Mm -mm, not yeah. saying it. You know what I mean? And mm -hmm. then some, you know, just feel 
the prerogative to do so. And yeah. Like, you know? So I had this conversation with somebody. I said, if you're not black, why would you even want to say it? Because right. you might feel that you have that past around those people. And then right. you go to a different group of black people. Oh, yeah. And, and that shit goes out the window. Yes. So why would you even want to put yourself in that position right. to even say, well, I'll, I'll, I sit around all my other friends. and <laughs> <laughs> Not around us, nigga. Not around us. You talk, you talk that bullshit with so your, you your partners. It while I'm calling you. Yeah, here. exactly. You can't say nothing about it. Yeah. <clears throat> exactly. So... I was looking at it through those lens also yeah, yeah. where it's like, why do you want to put yourself in that position? That's the thing, too, because if I were a non-black person, I wouldn't even like, why would I want to? There's no gain. There's no benefit except sounding cool. I, I think that's what it is. I Just think that's what it is. To be why? With the, crowd. with the Latinos or, or anybody else that is darker skin, that's not a white person mm-hmm. where I think they feel like, yeah, that's that's fucking cool. Like, mm-hmm. hell yeah, I'm a nigga just like you. Mm-hmm. But did you go through the struggle like us? Hell no, absolutely not. How do you feel about people substituting the N-word, black people substituting the N-word for a different word? So, for instance, I say my ninja sometimes. And you know why? I I knew you would have that same face. <laughs> you know why? Because I have been around so many white people for so long in Maine. I couldn't be myself. So, in regular conversation, mm. I would be about to be saying nigga and I'm like oh that's gonna be you weird. had to back back <laughs> it's gonna Why? be weird because you went around other black people that absolutely and because I didn't want them to think that it was okay for them I mean they're all older yeah you know but like it just it it didn't fit the situation right didn't fit the friend group and I was like ninjas yeah these ninjas now that I'm canceled because of my views that, that I said about this word <laughs> <clears throat> It leads me to feel, should we just stop saying the N-word altogether? That's my next question. And that is very hard because it it just rolls out of me. You yeah. Know? And you feel it, the connection. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, like it's mine. You're like the white man created it and then we took it and then we turned it into the term of endearment. We transmuted it, yep. yep. And then even people now that aren't black where they're singing a song and everything else, they're getting canceled because mm-hmm. they said it, even though it wasn't behind a, a, a bias thing or right. it wasn't behind any type of racism. It was just them singing a song. Mm-hmm. But Becky, you know, she'll, you know, she's saying the N word left and right in the song and now she canceled. Yeah. But she was just singing a song. It's just lyrics in a song. So should we just stop saying it uh, all together? It's so nuanced. Nigga, I'm keeping it. It's, it's sticky. And, it's sticky, icky, 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 icky. and you might have that N-word pass with, with your friends. Yeah. Until you don't have the N-word pass. So why would you even want to say it? Why would you even want to use it? I, that's, that's my view on it. So, so how do you feel about Eminem? He is just lifted on high by everyone. Like, how do you feel about him saying it? No. <laughs> okay. Good. No. No. Why do you act like you thinking about? It? I don't have to think. <laughs> You're like the yeah. ancestors was like. <laughs> yeah. Nah. You better say nah. no because okay. we don't accept that shit. Well, you know, <laughs> I I've seen a lot of black people online accept him because of who he is and like where he came from. And yeah. I'm like, mm, but he's still white though. So yeah. Like where where? Yeah. Embrace your whiteness. Where are there? Em- I don't know. Embrace don't know. your Latin Latin background. Embrace that. I'm not gonna go out there calling people W backs and all that other stuff. That. I, like I, feel, I grew up around nothing but Latinos. I was I'm just gonna, about that. what's up, Paisa? What's up? Nah, man. No, that's y'all. Yeah. I'm gonna keep it respectable, and I'm not gonna use those. I'm not gonna use those words. Y'all can say it and all that other right. stuff. You might give me the pass, but I'm not gonna take that chance to go around somebody else yeah. or another group of people and then say it, and then they're looking at me like, what the hell? Yeah. And I said, well, all my other friends, all my right. other Latin friends right. said right. it's cool. Nah, no, I- I'm not taking that chance. So what I was just thinking about, because I don't know, do other cultures have derogatory terms that they have turned around and now they like use it as a term yeah. of endearment? Latinos mm-hmm. do. Um, mm-hmm. I'm not going to say the words mm-hmm. because obviously, like I'm saying, it would be contradictory if I was to say those words right, when right, I'm right. saying you can't say nigga, right? right? But yeah, Latinos do. I don't know about any other cultures, mm-hmm. but they do. They, they've turned those the negative yeah. words into a term of endearment. But that's them. That's for yeah. them. Yeah, I'm not exactly. going to step into that and be like, oh, well, I, I grew up in rap. Because I was thinking that, like, I wouldn't just want to use those words. No. Even if they were in songs, movies and stuff, I'd be like, no, that's, that's all for y'all. Yeah, and I know? feel weird. Yeah. I feel strange. Yeah. So, no, nah, And the thing about that, too, like, my, my last sentiment is, you know, nigga, and then the words that they have for 
their cultures yes. um, has a lot more history, a lot more mm-hmm. trauma, a lot more derogatory everything attached to it. So yeah. that in itself should like alert people to be like, you know what? Let me just yeah. not test the waters. You know what I mean? So now that I'm canceled <laughs> for my views, the, the, yeah, I'm, I know, right? I'm sending the moth your way, man. I'm well, fuck it. that moth. That moth is about to be tooted and booted. <laughs> okay. Um, I was watching the video Cut, Mm -hmm. and uh, Cut actually had a segment of uh, black Americans talking to Africans. And Mm. the N-word came up and everything else, and Africans were speaking on uh, black culture and Mm -hmm. vice versa. And somebody had said the same thing. It's not attached to Africans. The N-word is attached to us. But also... Can I say that I'm African American? I've never been to Africa. Right. I'm just American. That's another topic. I yeah. have that one written down. Yep. I'm just American. Yep. But as far as the N word goes, there's no there is no N word pass with me. You know what? I wish I would remembered in this moment what I just read like a few days ago. It was a word. I think it was Nigong or. Mm-hmm. Oh, the Chinese word. Is it a Chinese word? I know no, there's a there's it's, okay. It's an actual. I think it's an African word, and I feel like our colonizers took that and made it nigga and made it derogatory when it like meant something so different. I thought it came from the word uh, Niger, because <gasps> Niger in Africa, and, and they were saying that this is where they came mm. from. But I could be wrong about all of I that. I mean, it could be a blend of both. I don't yeah. know, but I just read something. I was like, because I yeah. mean, I honestly don't trust a lot of history. History's His written story. by the winners. Exactly. So I'm like, yeah. Mm-mm. So no. do people get an N word pass with you? <laughs> mm. It's a yeah. It, you can it, say nigga all day. Well, it's it's so dependent on who, on your personality, on your upbringing, on all these things because like when I think about that one friend who was a, like a really good friend of mine mm. just said it so willy nilly with her Hispanic twang to it you know yeah. it, it just didn't bother me and when I think about her it still doesn't bother me just because of who she is yeah. but I would really have to know the person absolutely so yeah so you're saying that yeah some people get yeah, the inward pass some. and with me I grew up uh, with a lot of friends they're, they're white here in Texas mm-hmm. and they said we, we're seeing it back and forth all day mm-hmm. you know and then one day my mom was like who the fuck just said that and I was like oh so anyways they said it and I felt weird though when mm-hmm. they said it though because I was like oh wow mm-hmm. no 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 mm-hmm. and then he was like saying about you got the n-word pass who gave you the pass yeah see I didn't say no. hey it's fine but also, I never spoke up and said, hey, I feel uncomfortable either mm-hmm. about it because those are my friends and they're saying it. But I think now where I'm at and you say it and you felt OK to say it with me, I think I'm going to I'm going to say, I, you know what? I don't feel comfortable with you saying that. It's where I'm at right now, where I've done the education on it, where I've watched videos and other people, how they mm-hmm. felt about it. And that's why I think I feel the way I feel about it now mm-hmm. before everybody's. Oh, prime example. This is what I wanted to tell you. So I'm around my friend, this is some years ago, and he's Asian, and he dropped, say the N-word here and there, oh yeah, you know my nigga, okay, cool, I'm letting it slide, no problems, right? Why we get into a car wreck, we got into a car accident, Mm -hmm. he flips the car, leave the car, and now I'm crawling out of the car, oh, this is a, yeah, this is a nice story, but I'm not, I'm going to leave out a whole bunch of details, fast forward, right? (laughs) Okay, okay. So now he's on the other side of this fence and I'm walking by the freeway and he flags me down. He's like, hey, over here. I go over there and he's pissing in the bush. So I'm just standing there. He turns to me and says, nigga, who the fuck you talking to? Oh, see, (laughs) I turn around and I punched him dead in his fucking face. Yeah, he falls down. He's bleeding. And now we squared the fuck up. See, he had the N-word pass until yes. he no longer had it. Yes. And that's so, when he started the story, I was thinking, like, what is his background, though? Like, is he just... Oakland. A regular... Oakland, California. Way? Asian. Asian that's been in Oakland, was California. Was he kind of like Tim Chantharongsu? Like, that kind of Asian? No. No, no. Straight from China. Oh. Straight China. Oh, but yeah, he had been, but he had been in America for, like, 30 years in Oakland. He grew up... The whole neighborhood is black. He'd been around right. them, but black people. So he, that's... Somebody gave him the N-word pass, and then I didn't check him on the N-word pass until I took the N-word pass from him. 
So do you think that your reaction was just based on the, not the heat of the moment, but just the actual energy of the situation? Because it, it sounded like he was checking you. It was everything. In, in it was, way. it was a, you didn't listen to me to give me, give me the keys to the car. So right. that way we wouldn't be in this position. Right. And then me stuck upside down in the car. You didn't help me. I was, I was in that motherfucker. Yeah. I had to crawl out. Yeah. And then you want to give me that term of endearment yeah. after you've done all that other shit. Gotcha. No, you're, yeah. your, your, your nigga pass is gone. I feel it. Yeah. And now you're getting hurt because yeah, if he would have said anything else like rich, who you right. talking to or whatever, like, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have flipped, yeah. but that was Everything is cool still. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that's yeah. why I would say, why would you want to even say nigga when all of a sudden somebody could just, yeah. now your nigga pass is gone. Why would you want to say it? That's a good story. Of yeah, oh man. <laughs> that yeah, word. We'll, we'll have, we'll have it. I don't have any stories. No one's called me out of mind. I've been right? called nigga so many times by white people. Really? Even all the way growing up from, from knee high to a duck. Ooh. That's so, why I, I mean, have this view. How do you feel about boy? Boy, boy, even worse. My dad was born in 1921. Yeah. Yeah. That is derogatory in itself because oh, yeah. you're not looked at as a man, as a man or yeah. doing anything constructive or productive outside of just working only. Yeah. Uh, a quick story about that, which rubbed me the wrong way. And I was young, too. Uh, we moved from Houston to North Dallas. We finally moved on up into a home and stuff. We lived next to a white Christian family. And that uh, the father, he was a pastor. Mm. <clears throat> And so my mom has had her, you know, um, reservations with like neighbors, especially some types of white neighbors, you know, nosy and stuff like that. And so she had been cordial with him for several years, you know, and I think when we moved, I was like maybe 10, 12 or whatever. And he was three years older, my uh, brother. Mm. So... My mom would say hi to, you know, the neighbor, hey, how you doing, whatever. And one day he said something about my brother, but he said that boy. And my mom went all the way off and (laughs) we never talked to him again. But he he kind of reminded me of that father um, off of Seventh Heaven, Mm -hmm. that 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 look that just I don't know. He was very condescending. Yeah. You know what I mean? And my brother was a, a teen, you know, at that time. And yes, he's a child, but just how he said it. I mean, yeah. My yeah. mom, you don't want to play with her when it comes to... Being that my dad that. was born from, born from that generation where, yeah, you didn't call boy. That's that's derogatory. Yeah, it is. And oddly enough, my dad only called me boy. He never called me right. by my name. Right, wow. Yeah, he called me by my name like one time. And I think it's different, like speaking about a child and saying you know that little boy but yeah. saying that boy or your boy or i don't know it it was just real real testy yeah and real sometimes testy. we just react from the ancestors oh, yeah. absolutely so the an, ancestors are telling me that nobody gets a, a nigga pass yeah. <laughs> that's what the ancestors told me <laughs> my ancestors are like <laughs> you know it's just over here like man don't oh, involve God. me with this <laughs> i don't can't say what you want you know i mean oh, man yeah so, with all of that being said, I don't have anything else to add to this. I think right. I've done enough canceling for myself. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to end it on that note. Yeah, unless you I'm add all something. done. I'm all niggered out. Yeah. My nigga. <laughs> My nigga. Niggas out. Niggas out. <laughs> Peace. <laughs>